Welcome to Today of All Days, episode 77. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines! Today is Thrifty Thursday, August 17th, 2017. And today is... National Thrift Shop Day! Thrift stores are wondrous places where you can buy things secondhand or even brand new in special cases. And so, we wanted to share with y'all the top three thrift store finds of all time. Number three, the Alexander Calder Necklace. A woman from Philadelphia found this necklace at a flea market. She didn't discover its value until three years later. It was sold at an auction for contemporary art for 265750 U.S. dollars. Coming in at number two, the Declaration of Independence. In 1991, a man bought an old picture with a wooden frame for $4 in Pennsylvania. He examined the picture when he got home and discovered the Declaration of Independence hiding behind the old picture. It sold for $2.4 million. So that's where Nicolas Cage put it. <laughs> and coming in at number one, a Fabergé egg. A scrap metal dealer was perusing a flea market and found this item that he knew was made of gold. He planned on melting it down and selling it. He paid $14,000 for the egg and later discovered that it was worth $30 million. Now, just a little side note. It is said, and this comes from Fabergé themselves, that there are only 50 of these eggs in existence. Only 46 have been found. So... I want to know where these eggs are at. Come on, toadsters. We can do this. Four of them floating around out there. Times 30 million apiece. I'd be cool with it. And that brings us to... Today in History. In 1891, the first electric self-starter for an automobile was patented by Charles Kettering. Originally, cars were cranked up with wind-up springs, gunpowder cylinders, or physically cranked by hand. That's why they say crank the car. Because you would actually crank it. Being able to start your car with the push of a button or a turn of a key was revolutionary, and the first one was installed on an Arnold, which was an adaptation of the Benz Velo, and that was built in 1896. And now we're going to scribble over to... Number number two two pencil pencil day. What exactly is a number two pencil? What's so bad about number one pencils? And why haven't we moved on to number three pencils yet? Today, we will answer these questions. The graphite in a pencil is graded on the HB scale, according to just how much graphite is actually in there. A lower number pencil equals a softer graphite core. The higher the number, the harder the core. Softer pencils leave darker marks than harder ones because the graphite's so soft, it actually leaves more of it on the paper. Many artists out there are familiar with a slightly more in-depth system where H stands for hard and B stands for black. For these pencils, the 9H will be much lighter than a 9B which will leave very, very dark marks on your paper. And the reason why number two pencils are preferred for Scantrons is because they have been the most usable in the machines that grade the Scantrons. Back when they were actually conductive, the number two pencil had the perfect graphite consistency. When they shone light underneath it, Again, the number two pencil had the right graphite consistency, and these days, with light being reflected off of the answer sheets, the number two pencil leaves the most reflective surface. So good on you, number two. But that's not to say that you can't technically use another number pencil. 
but the number two pencil is still the safest. So err on the side of caution on this day. Today of all days. Today of all days. And we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.